These days, Dick and Rick have even more competition on the course. In the past two years, they've heard from hundreds of families who started racing and been inspired by them. That really makes us feel, feel good. That probably is the reason why we continue doing it, because we're helping so many people. Like Mike Mather in Norfolk, Virginia, as soon as his four-year-old son Owen was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, Mather educated himself by following all things Hoyt, including our first story two years ago. Here I am feeling sorry for myself, and here's this man up in New England putting his son you know, in a raft and towing him you know, across the water, putting him on the front of a bicycle and pedaling you know, more than 100 miles, and then racing a marathon. And if he can do that, I can pick myself up and um, make sure that my son knows that I will put out that effort for him too. Good job, partner. Good job. And so another team was formed. Are you ready to run? <laughs> huh? Last September, Mike and Owen competed in their first race, a half marathon in Virginia Beach, alongside Dick and Rick. It was also the first meeting for the two father-son teams. Before I ever met them, and before I ever ran a single mile to race with them, I already owed them so much. It was just an amazing feeling to meet these folks. And uh, I mean, there are not a lot of people I consider heroes, but good Lord, they qualify. Do you think you're a hero? You do? <laughs> yeah, Rick says he's, he's, he's a hero, but I don't, I don't consider myself a hero. Rick and I are just a father and son that are out there enjoying sports, you know, just like everybody else. Mm.